Am I too old to be here? What? Am I too old to be here? No, of course not. Does it look weird that I'm here? No, not at all. Am I hotter than these little bitches? Yes. <laughs> so, a couple weeks back, I made a video about how difficult it is to date in your 50s. And all I could say on the subject was, wow. Because I couldn't come up with a good, like, saying or whatever. <laughs> But my followers did and there are some hilarious comments like this one here that it's just it's just so funny Don't even have to like my video. I promise I won't get offended <laughs> because all I could say was wow <laughs> But just go through and read all the comments you won't be disappointed There are some funny tiktokers on here. I swear to god some of the comments that these men and women came up with will have you laughing so hard. So if you need to laugh today, find the video. I look really bad in the video. My hair is all pulled up in a ponytail. So you, I'm, I'm just giving you a hint so you can just skip through all my other videos and go straight to that one. So I'm at a speed dating event and you know how it is. Long line of guys waiting down, sit down in front of you. So one guy finally sits down in front of me and no chemistry whatsoever. And he finally blurts out, wow, you know, four minutes is a really long time. Not the right thing. All right, let's crack into tonight's coaching videos, guys. As uh, Gizmo pulls to the front here on the Range Rover. Uh, so we've got a lot to unload here, don't we? I think I'm just going to call this coaching video... 50-year-old cougars desperately try to convince themselves that 50 is the new 20. And as you can see from tonight's TikTok rants from these 50-year-old plus women, uh, they honestly do. They honestly do think that they're still in their 20s and they can still compete with these much younger women who are likely their, you know, their grandkids' ages, right? Because the first woman, she was in her... Uh, Looked like she was in her mid to late 50s. Not a bad looking woman either. I mean, for her 50s, uh, she's looking, still looks attractive, at least from that video, right? We don't know. We don't know much else. That's just one vid, right? So a lot of these girls use filters these days as well. Just trying to stay out of the sun here. But in any case, she was talking about how she went to a party and she's like, hey, tell me I look hotter than these other bitches, these like little bitches here, basically younger women. Right. And you know what? She could make that argument, right? She could make that argument, right? That she's probably more attractive than some women in their 20s. But overwhelmingly, most women in their 20s are more attractive than her, uh, if nothing but for the reason that they have a little something called fertility, right? They're still young, they're still youthful, and they're still fertile, not to mention feminine right not to mention feminine they haven't acquired all of those masculine traits that many women often do as they get older i did a coaching video on this i said the older a woman gets the more masculine she becomes all right so a lot of these women uh, they can tell themselves like hey am i hotter than these little bitches here and I'm sure her girlfriends and her besties will all be like, oh, you're so much hotter. Oh, yeah, you're so much hotter. But really, the facts speak for itself. It's like, okay, if that's the case, why are you still single at 50? Five, whatever she is, 55, 56. Why are you still single? Why aren't you, you know, how, how come you haven't locked down a man? Right? And she's not bad looking. Again, I mean, this chick was obviously probably way hotter 30 years ago. You had the world as your oyster. You had guys lining up to marry you, as many of these former hotties do. Why didn't you not pull the trigger on one of those guys? What was the problem? Like, oh, I didn't find the right one. Okay, fair enough. 30 years later, still haven't found the right one? Still? You know? Um, so, yeah, I just don't buy it anymore. I don't, I don't even entertain that stuff. So... Let's jump into the second TikTok video where <laughs> the uh, the other middle-aged woman, and I'm doing my best to stay out of the sun here. Let me turn this around. There we go. The other middle-aged woman was talking about how <sighs> some guy dropped a comment and he said that uh, 
Like dating a woman over 50 is like going to a, a garage sale where all the tools are now broken and you have to just basically get what's left over. And I've seen similar comments like that as well. And that is what kind of gives me hope for some certain guys on uh, TikTok. I'm like, okay, guys are starting to wake up. Guys are starting to realize that, okay, you don't have to settle for these older women. And usually the guys that drop these kind of comments on um, like a 50-year-old woman's TikTok that's still single is usually about 50 himself. He's usually the same age. So he has just as much knowledge as she does. And he's been run through a muck by women just like her who back in the day, <laughs> kids want to see the dog, who back in the day um, were pissing on him, flaking on him, ignoring him, standing him up for dates, right? Flaking last minute. Be like, oh yeah. Oh, so we're going to dinner tonight, right? I've asked you, I've only asked you like two dozen times to go to dinner with me. Yeah, yeah, tonight at seven, right? Dude like comes home early from work, skips going to the gym, washes his car, makes sure to wax it, takes a fresh shower, puts on his best clothes, makes sure his hair is all perfect, getting ready for that seven o'clock date. And then at 6.55 p.m., she calls him, or she did call him back in the day. We didn't have cell phones, right? Calls him on his uh, his uh, landline and goes, oh, I can't make it tonight. Uh, yeah, my mom's sick. Or, oh, I have to take my cat to the vet. Or, oh, my, my girlfriend just came over and I didn't know this was going to happen. So many of these guys experienced that, right? So many of these guys experienced that back in the day, including me. Uh, where the chick just flakes last minute, right? It's like, well, no, we had plans and you're just going to flake like that? That's super rude. And then, so by the time the chick turns 50 and she starts running out of options and he starts to look mighty good at that time, right? The other 50-year-old guy she used to piss on. That's when these guys just let these girls have it, right? Fair. <laughs> Fair, right? He turns around and he's like, yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm interested anymore. This is like going to a garage sale where all the tools are old and broken. And uh, he's right. I, I, you know, I like to, I like to, uh, I like to uh, Equate it more to like going to Walmart and going to the clearance rack, but that's just me. And finally, the last woman's rant, she must have been probably about 60, actually. She's like, yeah, definitely in her, looks like she's in her 60s and looks like she had some tats. Like, first of all, what are you doing with tats in your 60s? But she was ranting about how she went to a speed dating event and... I mean, that, there you have it. It's like, why are you 60 years old and going to a speed dating event? That just makes me sad, right? That just makes me sad that you're still going to these speed dating events at 60, man. At 60. It's like, dude, you should be home with your family, taking your grandkids out, taking them to the circus, Right? Celebrating birthdays at Chuck E. Cheese, getting Hallmark cards for the grandkids. I mean, that's what you should be doing in your 60s. You should not be at these speed dating events, right? You should not be out there still like riding the CC. This is just terrible, terrible behavior. And yeah, it's really depressing when I see that, man. It's like, because I don't really necessarily, I mean, I do blame these women, right? They do have responsibility in this. But I, you know who I blame just as much? I blame society, right? I blame the society that we've created that have told these women that you could be single forever and there'll be a man waiting for you, girl. There'll always be that high value guy waiting for you, ready to give you the, you know, the Disney fantasy. And that's just not the case, is it? Okay. It's just not the case because, you know, this chick sing 60 going to uh, the... Uh, what do you call it? The speed. I didn't even know they still had that. The speed dating event. What do you think is going to happen 10 years from now? She's still be going to be going to these events, right? How many men, how many men do you think she's slept with in like the six decades she's been on this planet? Most of these women, right? That are unmarried guys, unmarried, never had families and chose the corporate career, chose to ride the CC. Even though they'll never admit that. No, I was looking for the right man. He just never came along. Oh, okay. So you banged all these random men in the, in the meantime, right? So that was going to make it better. That was going to make you more appealing to men. Well, what a lot of these guys, girls fail to do is they, they fail to, all, 
to look at themselves and ask themselves, what would make me more appealing to men, the type of men that I would want? But instead, all they do is rah-rah on their little rants on their social media and talk about how, oh, I'm this valuable, I'm worth this, I'm worth that, because it's me, it's me, I deserve this type of guy, I deserve it. It's like, they never once talk about, like, what can I do to improve myself so other so men will want me? Instead, they come into these uh, speed dating events and, you know, Tinder and dating apps and all this with this really, you know, disgusting attitude thinking that, you know, they own you. They own the world. All right. And again, I blame society for that. I blame society for making these women think that, you know, their poop don't stink. And it's like, no, you, you know, you, you have to understand what men want and uh, you have to give that to men. Right. You can't just sit there and talk about yourself all day long. You have to understand what men want to. As always, guys, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Anything I might have missed that you would like to add below, drop them in the comments below. Any similar experiences you've had that you would like to share with the tribe, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. I always love to see you guys in my comments. I always love to read them, so please drop those comments below. And as I said earlier, this is going to be one of the last coaching videos we do here in the Range Rover. So uh, it's a bit sad. I've had this car for a while and um, we'll be moving on to the next car. But uh, it's been a great car regardless of what anybody has had to say about it. This has actually been one of the most reliable cars that I have ever owned. Funny enough. Because people are always like, oh, the Range Rover, oh, the DeLorean. Oh, my gosh, those are horrendous when it comes to maintenance. No, these have these two cars have been <laughs> literally the most maintenance-free cars I've ever owned. So it's fair, it's been a pleasure to, to own this, uh, this Range Rover and uh, probably going to be moving on to another one, if not uh, uh, a similar um, class SUV. But uh, going to be keeping the DeLorean, obviously, never going to sell that car, but uh, I think it's time to move on from uh, the Range Rover. So I uh, have a lot of memories in this car, man. A lot of dates, a lot of just good times. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be sad, but as always, make sure you smash that like button below. Let's do it now. Do it for the Range Rover. Smash that like button below. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so that you are notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton when you actually subscribe to my channel because it tells the YouTube algorithm that you like what I'm doing here and you want me to produce more content for you. Okay? So, please make sure you're subscribed as well. Too many of you guys are watching my vids and you're not subscribed, man. Help me out. Help a brother out and subscribe to The 33 Secrets. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, platinum pill content that I'm teaching you even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I am teaching guys just like you, yes, you, how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, stunners, the absolute best looking women on the planet. I teach you how to go out there and do that. And right now, I have a number of coaching students all around the world out there making things happen, rain or shine, every single day, no matter what's going on with the economy, who's in the uh, White House, right? Doesn't matter. We're continuing to live our lives at the highest level and I want you to join us I want you to become one of us and this is the absolute best way to support my work so if you want to jump into seven months of mastery please do so okay right now it's only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me so take advantage of it all you need to do is click that link below in my description box it will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now it just takes two seconds so do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video we're out me and the rover for one of the last times. Till next time.